You guys are doing a great job with this Q&A, but I have to be the bearer of bad news. We have time for one more question. Is it good? All right, pass it away. Um, you know, like, uh, it, it, it's, it's kind of a long story, but I'll try to make it as short as possible. Um, after doing your next, um, uh, that was like Simon and I's, you know, working together, our first kind of successful venture into filmmaking financially. And, um, and it kind of left us in an interesting place where before then, we'd always kind of developed all of our projects around what could we um, get financing for, you know, what type of subgenres would attract you know, like, you know, an obvious interest so that we can make the movie comfortably um, for a low budget and, um, or even design the film around the low budget or whatever. And so, but then after Your Next actually did um, really well for us, we were left in a position where we were, for the first time ever, asking ourselves not uh, what could we get made, but um, what should we make next? What did we want to make next? And, um, and so that was kind of an interesting process for us. And so we kind of started off with what would what what would have been our dream project when we were kids, you know, like growing up, like teenagers, when we first decided that we wanted to be filmmakers, and so we started going down the road as like doing like an action film is what we decided we wanted to do, and so um, strangely enough, we kind of spun the globe and we thought like with our producers, we were like, what, where in the world would we like to shoot an action film? Let's Let's not worry about budget, let's just think about it, you know, not worry about ambition, let's just think, what would we want to do? And so, and we'll figure out how to make it happen, you know, and so we kind of, we decided, we like Korean movies, and so we'll try to shoot a movie in Korea, and we kind of went down that road for a little while, and, uh, you know, long story short, it, it, it was a nightmare and a disaster, and uh, we, we'd actually developed, it. Simon had written a screenplay that was, um, it was actually called Nonstop, not affiliated with the Liam Neeson film. <laughs> No hyphen, yeah. Um, and, um, and, and the movie's premise was sort of like to do a non-stop action scene. We try to kind of develop the characters as action is happening. And we never really kind of cracked the code with it. And, um, uh, and, and so it was kind of like this weird kind of depressing period where we were like, you know, we just weren't sure what to do, you know, after that. And we kind of put that on hiatus. We went off and made VHS 2. And then one day I was just kind of sitting around at the Snoot offices, the production company that made the film, um, uh, Keith Calder and Jess Calder's office, I should say, actually. And, um, and I was watching some Blu-rays, I had a stack of Blu-rays with me, and I watched a double feature of uh, Terminator and uh, the original Halloween. And when I watched that, it just like kind of like it just like clicked at me that uh, that was the type of those two movies embodied the type of films that made me want to make movies, and it was the type of movie I wanted to do next. And so I talked to Simon about it, about doing like my original idea was sort of more of like let's you know let's do like a cyborg movie. I want to do like a cyborg on the run kind of movie. And Simon, rightfully so, was kind of like, um, do you want to you want to take this a little bit? I, I kept thinking of Class of 1999, the Mark Lester film, and I, like, I just couldn't do that. Um, yeah, you didn't know when you asked your question that it's, it's going to be a while, so settle in. Uh, it, all those of you who are waiting for Among the Living, keep waiting. Um, I had a script that I started in 2007 and abandoned because I realized that no one would want to see it as a film that was more of a very, like, the stepfather kind of thing about a soldier like visiting with this family and then basically murdering them all because like for a really complicated revenge reason and right around that time movies like Stop Loss and The Valley of the Law were coming out and being seen by literally no one um, I saw them they were okay but like but it was kind of this weird script that I like I really liked the idea of it and like the family dynamic and all these things about it but I just it just wasn't good so I wrote about 35 pages of it and threw it away like I do with many projects, and, uh, and Adam was like coming over and we were hanging out in my apartment and he was talking about this, and I was like, you know, I, I don't know what to do with the cyborg thing, but I have, I have a framework for this. That would, act, like, your idea makes my idea entertaining. No, actually, like, his, his actual exact response was like, he's like, he's like, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll do it about, before you even told me that you had an idea, and you're like, I, I just kind of pitched up my general idea, and he was like, yeah, actually, you know what we should do is we should do it about a soldier who shows up at this house. And it turns out he's like a super soldier, and he ends up like uh, you know killing the entire family or something. He's like, and we'll call it the guest. 
And I was like, oh, okay. And it was like, it literally just like came out just like that. <laughs> but I was lying because I already had it. <laughs> Great. Thanks so much, everybody. We appreciate it. Is this like the Oscars? Dun, 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 dun. Stop me, I'm on fire tonight. The board can't stop me. Fire tonight. Because I've got space game and it feels all